Hi everyone, in this video, or this video is going to be an introduction to Taskade. So if you're just starting out or if you're wondering if you should make the jump to actually switch to Taskade or try it for the first uh, time, I think this video is going to be for you because I'm going to be covering the basics and I'll also show you how to actually get started within Taskade. Uh, nothing is going to be complicated here. I'm not going to go to, into much detail. So this is going to be towards beginners more. So if you're just starting out, uh, this video should be for you. So uh, let's actually start by saying what uh, Taskade, uh, Taskade is and what it uh, does for you. So Taskade is basically think of it as one platform for a multitude of things. Mostly it's going to be for... Um, it's, it can be your notes platform, it can be your task management platform, uh, mind maps, uh, creating a just infinite space of thoughts and processes uh, alone or with a team. Uh, you can actually have a team uh, jump along with you on the same project where you can just brainstorm ideas and stuff. Uh, you can have agents which are going to help you to automate your tasks and makes just it just makes things a lot easier. So if any of those things um, seem like very nice to you, uh, well, you're right because it's actually very, very powerful and it just has all of those things uh, within this one place. Uh, you can see here they have the ta Taskade AI and they do emphasize on the AI uh, and they do that because it's actually very powerful within Taskade. It's not just, you know, a simple, it actually does a lot of work for you, which also helps with the automation of your tasks uh, and uh, other processes. So Taskade AI, tasks and projects, obviously, where you can just create multiple tasks um, for a specific due date, uh, for a specific pupil, maybe. And all of those things are going to be in here. So task management is also a very uh, high note uh, for Taskade. If you got notes and docs, mind maps, AI chats like ChatGPT, uh, where you can ask the, ask the AI for answers or questions about Taskade, and they're going to provide you with a very simplistic and yet detailed answers. So I'm not going to go uh, into that too much because I just want to jump into it and get started right away. So the first uh, few things that we need to talk about is that you can actually download an app or you can use uh, the browser uh, if that's what you want. So here for the desktop, you can actually install for Mac, uh, Windows, uh, Android, and also uh, iPhone. And you've got also browser extensions if that's what you want. So you can get it for a Chrome extension like here. You can just go here and you can just install it if that's what you want. But for the sake of this tutorial or video, I'm just going to go ahead and get started within the browser. Uh, one more thing I need to also note is the pricing because this is something that obviously we need to know before you get started within the Taskade. So if we click on pricing, you should find two options. Uh, either the business plans where you will find three um, different plans here, the pro, business, and ultimate. But if we go to the personal plans, there is actually a free uh, plan forever. It's not a trial. It's a free plan for you. And it's going to be uh, entirely for free, which you can just, you know, test out for yourself. And then afterwards, if you want to actually uh, upgrade to another plan, like starter or plus or one of the business plans you can do so but on the free plan you get uh one workspace uh some storage a little bit 200 uh 250 megabytes ai credits 1000 per month uh, and also you can add up to three users within the within the free plan now i need to talk about custom ai agents you won't be able to get any within the free plan but if you actually upgrade, you'll be able to get custom AI agents, which are going to help you with specific tasks. For example, sales, if that's what you uh, want the agent to help you with, which is very, very nice. But for the free one, you don't really get custom AI uh, agents. You do get a few uh, of the agents that come along with it. For example, AI uh, chat. No, let me see. 
there you go the research uh, agent you will be having that uh, seo agent uh, round table agent and that kind of stuff but no custom ai one so let's get started uh let's just sign up for free and it's going to obviously ask us to um, sign up with our email username that kind of stuff so i will do that real quick and come back to you in a sec okay so i signed up using gmail and it just shows us what we are going to be using this for i'm just going to be using it for personal use so we can just check that or whatever suits you best obviously and we continue here we obviously need to name our workspace name so uh, let's just name it after what i call myself usually tutorialist uh, explains and give it a color i like uh let's see maybe maybe this kind of purple okay ne next we obviously if we want to add uh people with us right away we can do so right here if not you if you don't want to add them yet you can obviously do it later on within this shareable link or uh later on i'll show you how to actually do it if we have the time but it's going to be very simple and then obviously it's going to ask you one more time if you want to download the app or just get started within the browser so i'm just going to be starting with the browser and here is going to be the startup where you actually you know uh, ask the ai to create the specific thing that you want to create for you you've got task list mind map flowchart and all of those things um you can set the persona of the ai and also the tone so for example here let's let's go for a creative ai and persona we can just leave it uh, off or we can just do um maybe a life hacker why not and then if you have a source you can also add the source uh, from here that could be a script a book it doesn't really matter or if you have media you can also use those as sources and it's just going to be uh, using them to uh, apply the ai knowledge from basically uh, also for the workflows you can do mind maps projects uh, content notes that kind of stuff so let's just keep it at workflows uh, and just type in uh, something specific so um, create a task list for uh, maybe becoming a successful oh my bad online freelancer there you go so obviously the more detailed the better but you can just do that and it's going to do all the work for you if you just give it a sec you can just uh then obviously create more projects and stuff but i'm just going to wait uh, for it to uh, and you know generating the text and i'll be back to you in a sec okay so i think it's done generating now and we can just click on create project uh and it's just going to take us to the home page where you can obviously you know check the tour and tour if you want which obviously will teach you about how to actually use specific things but we don't really need that i guess i just need to keep clicking on next it's just going to show us the views uh, how to share it how to actually talk to ai which is going to be in here uh but uh, yeah from here you can obviously just create whatever you want if you want to just have it over here you can just click space uh slash and then either create an agent to work for that specific task you can just do it like this and obviously uh depending on your plan you can create either a custom agent or you can just choose an e agent from here uh, and you can just click on create uh, and obviously you will find a bunch of tools commands and that kind of stuff which you can set up yourself like i said i'm not going to go into much detail here uh, but you can obviously upload um like we did with the previous ai prompt we can upload a file to have the ai learn from it and get the knowledge from that uh, obviously we've got a bunch of view um, like uh, tabs here we can view it in a in, in a this is the default view there's the list view there's calendar view if you have something for a specific date you can add anything 
Um, this is usually for the tasks. So if you have a bunch of tasks here, you can just have them over here and you can just shift between them. Like I said, mind maps, if you want to connect a lot of thoughts and tasks, uh, it's very great to use that or org chart to make it a little bit easier. It's up to you. So this is going to be how you view it here. You can obviously share it and invite to workspace uh, or invite to project, depending on what you want. And here is going to be the, uh, like they say, the chat GPT replacer. So you can set the persona uh, of the AI that you want to talk to. So if, if you want to have a, for example, uh, marketing expert, financial advisor, it can be that. We can just do researcher, then tone friendly maybe. And we can just ask Taskeda, Task, Taskeda I said, Taskade uh, AI to uh, just help us with anything really. And it's just going to do so. It's just go going to do so. So again, you can just add whatever you want. And if you want to add a block, you can do so by just going to the bottom where you can obviously add your own bullet points uh, specific tasks if you want, and you can obviously check, uncheck, and all of those things. It's very simple and straightforward. And again, if you if you need anything specific for, for, for like a help or something, you can just go ahead and ask Taskade AI, and it's just going to help you out. It's very simple. So I hope this video was a good introduction to Taskade. I really suggest that you do use it if this is something that you will be needing um it could it could replace a bunch of different platforms because this is a all-in-one platform so instead of having uh, a platform for notes a platform for task management uh, and just a different bunch of things for ai and stuff instead you can just use taskade uh, and it's just going to be everything in this one platform so i hope this video um you, you liked this video and you benefited from it and thanks for watching guys